Next take. All right, we're back for our next take. Uh, take two. It, it just kind of cut off from before, but New we'll computer. just continue. Anyway, yeah, we're figuring out. There's some technical glitches. We're working on it. Give us a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it. Come on, give us a break here, folks. Give us a break. <laughs> some respect. Some respect. Some, uh, some respect. I got no respect around here. Nobody Mr. Looks... Burns, I'm your son. <laughs> Larry Burn. Larry Burns is played by Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. Who am I talking to? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, rest in peace, Randy Dangerfield. There you go, yeah. It's a very old fashioned style of like the Catskill comedian style of humor or whatever. I feel like even Good Burgers are like old school, like kind of humor compared to like humor they do now. Yeah, 90s style comedy stuff is very old school yeah. compared to stuff nowadays. It's still, yeah. 90s style comedy was like in between what they have back then and now. Now it's like a little too fresh to real met, to real to meta too many people going to therapy yeah. and you know you Depressive. know they're all this sometimes they'll talk about like mental illness and politics and stuff day. Like that. Yeah, yeah. they'll talk about politics and like so they'll just like go from like a random thing like you know i, I I'm, fe- I'm feeling good i had this uh sprite today well did you know that the people behind sprite we're actually the people behind Coca-Cola who are behind this and that. And it's like, well... Oh, Destiny and uh, <laughs> Mueller or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. Volker. Volker. Whatever his name Volker, is. you know. Uh, no, Paul Volker is from... Anyway, we got to get yeah. this stuff. But, um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. This, this is 2020-style humor. Everybody's all over the place yeah. where it's like you got to get really political or you have to have a lot of ADHD. You gotta have a lot of knowledge, or you have no knowledge at all, but you still get very political. You know, um, be in your face, but not ever know or don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're in your face and like to the extreme. Yeah, so that's humor nowadays. Yes. Anyway, what does this have to do with Arby's? <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, to we the just, good. We just turned this Arby's review into like our own. Like a like a preaching from the pulpit about modern comedy, <laughs> so, um, but uh, so we'll see if that applies to the true. movie. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We gotta check out how they update Good Burger too. For all we know, it could be like literally like the best thing. Like we haven't watched it. Yeah, like, we I, I, I do video. hope it impresses me. Like the beginning of Blue Beetle. Then. I really, yeah. Look, we saw the beginning of Blue Beetle recently. I was like, like, this wow, is this is like this better is than <laughs> my my second best film now. The, at least from what I saw, the Asteroid City. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, who cares about like these twee people in the desert? You know, oh. talking about stuff in like perfect right angle. Uh, perfectly arranged shots when there's how people about we with don't real problem. People. How about we don't nuke people? How about, uh, how about like, uh, you know, something about like people in Blue Beetle where they're dealing with real stuff, you know? Anyway, you would probably want to hear more us talk more about these burgers. They don't have Blue Beetles um, in them. They don't have Blue Beetles in them in these burgers. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was 15 bucks. It was pretty pricey. Cha-ching. 12 plus tax, right? No. Oh, 13, 12.99 plus tax. I think it might have been like fifteen oh eight yeah. or something on yeah. the we ordered online. We ordered it online and we ordered a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Uh we ordered like an hour ahead of time. We ordered around like eleven. And it was 30. there. It was there when we got there. It was there when we got there. We didn't have a long wait. We made another order. There's nobody there. We got we a couple of sandwiches. One. We yeah. got some coupons. Oh, so we spent more than what I thought it was like, yeah. There was like some good deals on some roast beef and cheddar sandwiches. They're like three dollars a sandwich or yeah, something. You should probably go for that, yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good. Yeah. Those seem like worth checking out. Very um, filling. We got some coupons for four ninety nine for a Reuben. I I actually like the Reubens from from I, Arby's. As I weird feel, as that I might sound, like, I feel like the Reubens are too filling for me. Uh, maybe that's why I like them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good deal. You know, yeah. it's worth two meals. And <laughs> they're probably more filling than the Las Vegas Reubens actually. <laughs> oh yeah, the Las the Vegas, Vegas Reubens taste better. Though. We had the Las Vegas Reuben from of all places. New York, New York. Yeah, New York, New York. Casino, we just got yeah. back from Las Vegas. Yeah. We didn't do a review of that one yet. I don't yeah. But I have um, some photos or something. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, the Rubens. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't know. It's not supposed to represent a real Ruben, but I don't. Know, I like the what they're presenting, and um, it tastes pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Um, we had the shake. I like the shake when it was more fresh. It's pretty sweet, but I actually felt like it was not overpowering for no, whatever not reason. At all, yeah. For some, I don't for know how much, reason. I don't know how much I'm shaking, but like, it's great, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the whipped cream diluted it or something, I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what they no. did. Um, now it's a little warm, and... Maybe that's what Now that's, a, oh, that's becoming more of a problem. 
I had these fries earlier when they were fresh and they were still pretty crispy. Yeah. Now, now I'm definitely not. I guess Arby's is trying to rival Burger King and McDonald's with this meal. Yeah, they want to have fries, a burger, and a drink. This was something else I want to say is that like a lot of like fast food franchises want to get to the sense of like having some food that feels more real. So like at, at McDonald's, they tried to have the Angus burger. Yeah. Like it's not just McDonald's meat, question mark. It's real 100% Angus. Or of course, you're asking uh, why don't you just always serve that? Right. And then it's like, well, yeah, but don't think about it too much. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> And then, like, now Arby's is doing, like, Wagyu beef. Like, it's an actual, yeah. like, kind of Wagyu, like, it's a great deal, right? Yeah, pretty good, right? Yeah. And, uh... Oh, so yeah, I forgot. Uh, do you want to look at the sticker to reveal something about the Wagyu beef to yourself? And then Chipotle is always talking about the fresh ingredients. Okay, so let's look at this sticker. What's up with this sticker? Yeah. Only at Arby's. New movie streaming. Paramount Plus. Yeah. Good Burger 2 meal. Yeah. Viacom. Yeah. Copyright Viacom. Yeah. Copyright Arby's IP holder. Yeah. Burger made with blend of 51% American Wagyu and 49% ground beef. I knew that eating that. Well, he didn't read that. Interesting. That. Interesting. I felt like it probably wasn't 100% Wagyu. Also, like, actually, I don't know. I don't know these has great beef. Arby's beef, I have no idea because I've never had Arby's, like, burger beef before right like back in the day like wendy's big angle was like where's the beef like, yeah compared to like and like you get actual beef compared to it yeah um now i feel like it's like people want to eat simultaneously want to eat healthier yeah. but also want to eat bigger and more meatier meals i, I feel like people just want to know what they're eating <laughs> and then they want to know if they want to be full if they don't want to be full yeah they don't want stuff like you know you order craft singles and it's cheese products because they can't legally call it cheese or whatever yeah. and you don't want like briar's ice cream products yeah. you know where you can't legally call it ice cream or whatever you know yeah. people want to know what they're eating nowadays yeah. you know um you want to actually you know it's all frank in the food nowadays you yeah. know and like even like tell me it's gmo or something you know? <laughs> just be honest like don't lie to me you know maybe i'll figure that out like the what gmos maybe not Maybe they aren't that bad. But like, is that what that what premium channel talking? shows about? Lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that what that premium what premium channel? I forgot. Premium channel. That's the guy from Reservoir Dogs. In it. Oh, Tim Roth. Tim Lied Roth. Me. Oh no, is that actually on Fox? I think. Wait, well, which thing? Lie to me. The show. Oh, lie to me. The show. Lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see. Here's crispy. I, I like the curly fries. I have no criticism of the curly fries. When we were eating them, I couldn't I stop eating them. I think we'd ever have a bad curly fry, yeah. Yeah, now they're cold. But it's still good. Yeah. Still it's good. Just heat good. them up again. No criticism of the curly whatever, fries at Arby's. Whatever the math is behind the curly fries being always good, like, they're always good, yeah. Always on point. To be fair, I think we got to reveal this. Yeah. We've eaten at Arby's before. Yeah. We have a history of eating at Arby's. Yeah. We haven't eaten it at it since pandemic. Yeah. But we've eaten at it before. We knew which Arby's we were going to. Yeah. We've eat we've enjoyed it. I think some it one before. after pandemic and it was like a mess because like uh maybe we went to a different store or whatever, but like Yeah, like they had like this coupon rush one day and like there there's like a million people in the store and like it felt like all the employees quit or something after that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, and, yeah, I guess, like, maybe these fries were too crispy because our order was too ahead of time, or some of it was, I don't know, for whatever reason, they were too crispy compared to... I thought they were fine. Yeah, oh, really? Okay. I thought they were better than, like, Burger King or McDonald's, yeah. Oh, really? I honestly like McDonald's fries. Some people are really and big I... fans of those fries. I remember, like, when I worked at Disney, there's a, one place that only served McDonald's fries. That's it. Even though they have, like, a store connected to it that doesn't serve McDonald's fries. People would just be like... Where's the McDonald's fries? Right. Yeah. People are fans of McDonald's fries. Yeah. I think where you were in, where you were in, in Manhattan, like, you were close to a McDonald's, right? Or something? When I was in high school or whatever? Maybe. I don't remember. Yeah. There was a McDonald's. Huh. Yeah. There was, like, a deal to eat at McDonald's, right? Yeah. I think it was, like, buy one, get one Big Mac free. I don't This was a terrible idea. <laughs> This is why they would size me came out. Right? Why they would allow that for high school <laughs> students to leave the high school, go to McDonald's, buy one Big Mac and get another Big Mac 
free. Like. All, of, all of the grades that went down <laughs> your high school. No. There's probably some sort of study they can make on that. Yeah, I don't know what it was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's chicken nuggets. The chicken nuggets are pretty good. Yeah. I've enjoyed the chicken That's nuggets. They're pretty legit. Everything better than the Costco ones. The chicken tenders or whatever, the yeah. microwavable ones. Probably, yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, pretty overall, filling too. Those are pretty filling compared to the fries. Maybe even compared to the burger. Yeah. 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 To be clear, I don't believe the curly fries come with the meal, but uh, you could Pretty probably good. you could probably substitute. I think it, the we don't know. We're not sure. I don't really remember. Uh, but you could probably substitute. Yeah. The meal is designed to come with the burger, the strawberry shake specifically. Yeah. Which I think is also might be new. Yeah. Because they were advertising it outside. And then also the crinkle cut fries. And yeah. that was about a total of like $15. Yeah. After tax, I believe, or something like that. Somewhere around that ballpark. Yeah. And given that this is a new burger that like has Wagyu in it and stuff. It's tied into the... It's tied the, into a uh, good burger. It's not tied into like Travis Scott or like... Uh, I forget whatever celebrity meals are. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like the Swifty meal. Or something yeah, yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, what was it? There's the... Travis Scott burger. The Travis Scott, Scott burger from was. McDonald's and uh, the uh, the what was it? The other one, the, pink, one. the pinky, the Swifty, the 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 one that was after the Travis Scott meal in McDonald's. I don't remember I what it's called. Okay. Yeah, the Sweetie Sweetie D meal or something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. This is that thing with the Swiss on sauce, also. Yeah, yeah. There's like that. Or whatever. This uh, this seems safe enough, you, yeah. and also like I think Arby's could use the help if you happen to pass by and you're curious. Maybe worth checking it out. I, know, I also don't know like it's not it, bad. It's an easy commute yeah. for most people to get to an Arby's. Yeah, I really have no idea. Yeah, but it's um, that easy for us. Yeah, but yeah, I haven't yeah. seen the. We'll see the Good Burger Two movie yeah. soon enough. Yeah, we have it on deck. Yeah. Uh, we can't watch it tonight, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we will watch it soon, and we'll get back to you with a review for that as well. Yeah. Um, we've been talking a lot about this Arby's meal. Yes, we did, yeah. And this is part two of it, yeah. of our recording. Yeah. Um, check it out. Yeah. It's worth checking out. Yeah. Support Arby's, support Good Burger too. Support Good Burger, not Mono Burger. Ask for some coupons, you know, say hi. Maybe the people will be really friendly like they were at our... Arby's and like, yeah. and like uh, you know they'll give you good service because they're like oh okay you're here <laughs> you they're know, really so nice yeah super nice um, the restaurant style at all about a good burger yeah remember to ring the bell for good service I remember how like in the first movie they're like good burgers where I lived man I lived and breathed good burger <laughs> like what Kill Mitchell's character was in the film right right yeah 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 but I guess we'll see the second one yeah and we'll get back to you on that yeah, yeah. all right so. Thumbs up for the meal. Yeah. Let's give a thumbs up for the meal. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. And, uh, yeah, support your local artists and creators. Yeah. And uh, no more war. And yeah. Stuff like that. There you go. All right. Pleasant enough, All right. yeah. All right. Take it easy, folks. Take it easy, yeah. Peace. Peace. Definitely peace. Peace. Indeedy. Indeedy.